magiging Nautilus support to, it will most likely be again. Seraphin in the mid lane. Kanina na nakita natin kung gaano ka effective si K-Bear, si Miss Kyla on the Seraphine. The split pushing Seraphine. <laughs> split pushing Seraphine. Grabe nga yun. Game uh, knowledge. Game knowledge. Game knowledge. Uh, exactly. Game Naka, nakarating na nga siya ng, ano, eh, ng inhibitor, inhibitor tower. Grabe. <laughs> na, inubos na lahat. And of course, we just want to take a guess that it, the last pick might be a Diego here. But tinanggal na yung target uh, pick nitong ni Giyang kanina. No? Wala nang silver ah, this time. Ako oh, nga, no? So Senna is uh, available. Pwede ka prioritize dito ng team wrecker, which is what I would say a perfect opportunity para sa kanila. Cause Senna supporting yung uh, Hecarim and yung Nautilus provides a lot of value, but instead team wrecker would still <gasps> go for the Shen and Cap. Okay, the boss. Wow. So jungler yung wala. Baka Viego nga. Baka Viego ah. nga talaga. No? Yeah. I mean, we've seen a couple of set jungles in the past. But if it's truly a Viego, it really will fit the composition na suck na suck talaga. Yeah. Pero Team Wrecker, they need an AD carry. They need damage. Because this comp, if a Hecarim does not go online, magkukulang talaga sila dito. Huh? Very, I would say very well balanced para sa Team Wrecker. Pero you're right on the yeah. dot. Kailangan talaga nila ng damage dito. Yeah. Seraphine really not the number one option in terms of damage. Shen, supplementary damage lang. Almost similar case para sa isang Hecarim. So, they need a hyper carry, possibly oh. Kaisa? Wala na yung Kaisa. Kinanggal oh, na nila well. yung Kaisa. So, tinanggal na rin nila yung Jig. So, maparang, you're left Samira. with Samira. Wait, hold up. If... Oh, nga, si Giyang. I love it. Yeah. I love this. Samira Giyang. Samira Giyang. Uh -uh. Samira. Kasi yun yung... Uh, I remember Warla. <laughs> Wild Replica Asia. Yeah? Lagi niyang... Ano yun? Lagi niyang nire-request sa broadcast. Samira, 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 Samira. Wala. Hindi na niya. Samira, Samira. Hindi na niya. Siya na lang yung pumili, no? <laughs> ayun! Ayun! No, yung unlockable Diego! character na natin. <laughs> Wabas na. Welcome Diego, to welcome to our trip. Wow, okay. Wow. Are you ready for the resets to happen? Kasi nandito na si Team Kapitan Pugo. Or Kapitan Pugo, piloting itong Diego nga natin with the support of a Lulu. Eh, kaya talaga mang 1v5. Tamang-tama yan. Magiging mas more confident itong si uh, Kapitan na mag-dive into a lot of these very scary fights if you do have that wild growth with you. And honestly, Team Wrecker, they have a lot of CC to deal with this possible scary Diego on the side of uh, Kapitan. Yeah. There are two builds eh, na nakikita ko kadalasan sa ladder sa isang Diego. Merong bruiser type, which is yung Titanic Hydra main item. Uh, and then, of course, yung all-in glass cannon na Blade of the Ruin King. Damage lang ng damage. Damage, damage. exactly. I, I, I hope to see yung glass cannon kasi mas ano yun eh, mas, mas exciting. Oh, grabe yun. Lalong-lalo na Naku. delikado on the side of Cherizawa and Giyang Gaming, syempre. They do have a lot of, uh, they have less right. HP, but oh! Kita na natin sila. Yeah. Let's go. Boss Ray, game 2. Sabi ko, bili ka ng item eh. <laughs> Namamartida talaga oh, si Boss Ray. Ayaw talaga niya bumili ng support item, no? Say sayang daw. Oo oh, nga. Oh, nga. Sayang. Team Payaman. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's start. Uh, Casey Bay, syempre on the Heka here. Next to start sa taas. Syempre, similar red din. Quickly. Ito para kay Kapitan. Oh my God. Sakit. Oh. Interesting. Folks here and there, and of course, Samira mag online. Kaya ba ang online ng Samira? Two items in? Two items. Yeah, two items. Pwede no? na siya mag go ham in the yeah, middle combo of everywhere. Combo siya, no? Yes. Ano talaga to? Uh, ang isang Samira is, uh, I would say, high skill cap uh, okay. champion dahil nga uh, unang-una kailangan. Malinis eh, yung, yung combos mo and all that. So, it's not like Jinx, no? Na parang lalayo ka lang. No, and again, for, for our viewers out there, kung hindi nyo pala try mga Wild Rift, I will definitely advise na wag Samira ang una nyong bilhin. <laughs> Akala ko in-encourage mo kung gusto nyo ng mala action na champion, na AD carry na parang bida. Samira, pilihin nyo! Ma mag Jinx ka muna! <laughs> Mag-ash muna. Oo, uh, mag-ash ka muna. <laughs> muna. Ano pa? Ano pa? Ano? Mga beginner? Miss Fortune. Yeah. Miss Fortune? Ash. I think Ash talaga pinaka number one yan para oh. sa mga beginner. No? Uh, Kasi itong Samira, 
expert eh. Parang <laughs> expert difficulty. <laughs> Kahit ako eh. Like, there were, there were times in where I tried to pilot Samira na napapaisip na lang ako eh, bakit ba ito yung pinig ko? Pwede naman yung madali lang. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi talaga siya madali. The fact that you really have to get onto the fight, get yeah. all of those attacks to make sure that you have your ult, yeah? it's just so difficult. Conditional ult siya. Siya uh, lang talaga uh, yung meron yan. I mean, maybe aside from the fate call, kasi kailangan oh, hold on. Gun? You could possibly see the first gank of the game, pero umatras ng kuha nito si KCB. Eh. May ward lagi kasi. Yeah. Ward saves lives, everybody. Oh, oh. League of Legends PC, League of Legends Wild Rift, paras lang. Diba? <laughs> Kung masipag ang... Uh, actually, hindi lang support yung nag-award dito yeah. sa League of Legends Wild Rift. Yung mga trinkets available, lahat kayo lahat. eh. Shared responsibility yung pag-award. Hindi lang uh, trabaho ng support yun. Oh, tama. <laughs> lahat tama. kayo, right? Lahat. Kailangan, <laughs> kailangan yung magtrabaho. Ay, kailangan yung... Uh, <laughs> kailangan yung mag-award. Kailangan yung mag-award. <laughs> libre naman kasi, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> yung trinket word na yun eh, libre. Ta May tatlo pa silang option, di ba? Uh -huh. Pwedeng uh, vision ward. Pwedeng yun niya, yung uh, normal na ward lang. Or pwedeng uh -huh. sweeping lenses. Tama. Lahat yun. Nakakatulong. Then, to the end. Siyempre, Mga yung team comp natin dito, inexpect yeah. natin syempre sila kapitan magfa-farm muna. Right. Lalabas pag handa na sila sa makipaglaban, di ba? Yeah. Especially knowing na yung uh, item passing dito ni kapitan. Interesting eh, no? Yung uh, parang sing sing bago maging Sheen. So, ano ay may team item pa dito, Trinity Force, Bruiser type, mm. possibly baka hindi Glass Cannon na tong Diego natin, which by the way is uh, ang pinakaunang Diego na nakas ko Woo! sa Wild Rift. Kasi, Kung ano, <laughs> syempre. <laughs> Kung ano, ako din, ito oh. ulit, tank, naglabanan sa alcove dito. Kagaya na sinabi mo na dyan yung May baby Scarner. Scarner. Oh. Sumasali din. Parang 1v1v1 oh, ito. So Kaso ka lang, nako, oh. natamaan ang face breaker here. But the auto attacks from Priolis is just too much. Here comes the taunt as well. Face breaker sa face. And it's a flash no with the ultimation. Ground! Grabe ko naman, Eisenhart! The clutch! Ang lakas! At tawag doon pang glam slam moment oh, eh. Oo, no? grand slam moment eh. Grand slam sa ground. Arang uh, smackdown yung nangyari. And again, the ultimate coming in from Eisenhart. Just enough. Uh, kumbaga, calculated kumbaga. Ignite for an ignite, even use on the top side. And uh, ang pinakamalaking bagay doon para, para kay Eisenhart. Uh -huh. Ang dami niyang na-deny na experience on the top side. Diba? Yung mga minions... Pinangga din sa Tore. And uh, that's very valuable, valuable, especially sa early game. I really like how you mentioned that. Kasi syempre, trabaho ni ang isang Shen is to make sure that the wave is prepped para makapag-stand united ka, para makapag-teleport ka. Uh -huh. Or else, if the minions are shoved against your tower, right. baka ma-GG ka, mawalan pa kayo ng uh, first blood tower sa taas. And, oh. ooh, may pa-replay. Kaso yung, yung oh. Oh. replay natin, ito na. Yan, yan yung replay nga natin. So, 1v1. Manila Classico! Malam mo, Hamad Ali, and again, Bam! just clutching it. Siyempre, just using the flash and the, the ultimate. That was just available para kay Eisenhardt. And looks like na nagkaroon na nga tayo ng trade-off ng objective dito. Kaya nga eh, pero parang pinahabol pa. Hindi, pupunta muna sila sa mid. Mukhang hindi ata nila ipokontesto kasi it's a bit too late. But they might try to start a fight here. Nako, nakita na nila, na-refure na, tapakbo na lang sila. Laki ng gold injection para kay Cap. Three tower plates and possibly the first tower in the game. K Bear, Sinisi po na yung Torre. 36 HP and there you go. First tower in the mid lane, which we all know it's the most important tower in terms of early game as a Wild Rift. Totoo, especially mid lane here. The flash though and the ult on the goddess. But the movement speed coming from the Lulu is going to be eternally, eternally valuable. Woo! The ult goddess is going to be in trouble. Wild growth para Aisha. I like that. The taunt flash onto the tower and what on ever finish the job. It all started with Wrecker, di ba? Yung initiation dito ni Wrecker, finding the right target. We have to remember na ang isang Ash, very vulnerable. And also the wild growth was there. KC Bay, onslaught of shadows. Ganda, no? Mula sa kanyang stream, yan. Yung uh, mga loyal fans dito ni KC Bay should be cheering after uh, that insane moment. And now, tabla tayo, no? Yung kaninang nakuwang score dito ng uh, Team Kapitan Pogo eh nabalik na naman ni Creoles using the Stan United pero yun nga lang tower plates wise dahil nga nakakuha sila ng maraming tower plates sa mid lane and on the top lane naiwan mag-isa itong set nga natin the gold lead is uh, definitely in the favor of Cap
Yun yung pinaka delikado, no? It feels like one fight. Yeah. Might really change it all. Yung 1v1 nila sa, ta sa taas, basically. <laughs> parang, true. ayun taloy. Uh, the tower, parang half HP na lang, laking chip damage right. after that wave, after that fight. And comparing yung gold rin nila, I think we have a 1k gold disparity sa top laners natin. Yung set nga natin, hard steel na rin. And uh, similar item rin naman. Hard steel din yung set natin. Really a very good addition, in my opinion, uh, dito sa mga wild draft itemization natin. Because finally, yung mga tank natin, they deal damage now. <laughs> Dati kasi hindi. <laughs> Except Garen. Oh, shit. Garen is... Yeah. Uh, oh, oh four. dito, K-Bear. Uh, at least, good flash. Nakapag-flash siya pa alis. KC already uses Onslaught of Shadows. And the Pyroclasm also just used. Okay, take a Only look. Only one. Hindi si Crayoles dito. The trade so far feels like it's in favor of Eisenhardt. Surely. And plus yung true damage ng uh, Haymaker. Pero may ganks. KC Bay on the top side. Oi. So yun! 1v2 situation, sayang nga ito. Wala nga siyang ult, pero malaki right. nga yung damage na bait out naman yung flash. Job's done para kay KCB. Natuluhan niya na itong si Coriolis na ma-alleviate yung pressure kahit pa paano. Uh, although, one thing is nagkaroon nga tayo ng quick rotation. By the way, they're sending their mid laner over to the bottom lane. Ha? Interesting. Uh, to answer yung uh, two-man push it sa may bandang ibaba. Pero hindi yata mapipigilan if they down yung tower wrecker. Misses yung hook. Pero that's fine. Okay lang. Nakuha ulit nila yung tore. And parang nakikita na ulit natin yung macro plays na, ng team Kapitan Pugo. Right. Really nice sunny yung Zawa. hook. But look at Kapitan Pugo with a 1v1 si Cherry Zawa. At hindi siya makakatakas dito. Ipit na ipat silang lahat. The knock up gala. And as well as Giyang with a kill as well. Sumusugod na silang lahat. The dash in from Giyang as well. Pero si Easy ah, magpa-follow. Bumakamod ako sa Son of Shadows. Double kill na ngayon si Giyang. Napakagandang follow up. Yeah, maganda pa naman yung uh, injection ng gold uh, para kay Giyang. Kasi importante yung importante talaga para sa isang AD care na magka-gold. O, oh, tingnan nga muna natin yung comms ni Team Wrecker. Pwede naman yung kaya, pero... Bakit? Pwede ako sumunod din sa bot. Go nila. Low ako, Boss Wreck, ha? Wala ako dyan. Back ako. Kaya nyo yan, kaya nyo yan. Kaya nyo yan. Nice one. <laughs> Grabe. Kalmadong kalmadong comms nila. Oh, <laughs> alam, mo, <laughs> alam mo, buti na lang, walang nagsabi ng manghang na salita. <laughs> Kasi parang kung ako yung nanonood, may kasama ng mmm, di ba? <laughs> Ay, dragon nga natin dito. Ano nga sila, no? Nice one. Ganun, uh, ganun na ganun lang, no? Very, ano, no? Very family-friendly yung homes nila. <laughs> ang, uh, ang kulit nga, eh. Pero, let's see naman ngayon yung team comps naman nila Kapitan Pugo. Warren, Miss Kyla. Okay. O lang ako ng, ano, gold pat papatipi lang ako. LPC stat ginagawa natin. Wala na alam sa wild trip. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ingat ka lang, Miss Kayla. Wala tayong trade. Wag, wag mo muna i-pressure. Grabe naman si Kapitan. Huwag muna i-pressure. Uh, oh, this is within expectation, no? Kasi parang, ano talaga eh, no? Kanina nga nahita nga natin na 100% kill participation si Kapitan Pogo. And now we know why, diba? Kasi talagang, alam mo yun, parang choreographed uh, or directed talaga bawat galaw ng team Kapitan Pogo. Kung bagay yung nilalaro dito ni... Uh, ni Kapitan Pogo. Parang TFT eh, no? Hindi <laughs> 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 mo yung nilalaro ng champion. <laughs> Top side gang. Let's see here, the Stun Unite, and Dots with a Stun, pulling it towards him and Crayolis. Wala, hindi siya makakatakas. And that's gonna be a kill. Ano kaya ang trade na magagawa yeah. na Team Wrecker here? Nagantehan eh, no? The top side kasi kanina, it was the other way around. And uh, 
Wait, Baron? Baron! 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 Pwede pa maka-steal! Potential steal! Dito pa ba? Steal! Stolen! That's a steal! No way, Kapitan! Grabe ka naman! At ka maraming kills! Si Kapitan Team Wrecker! Nakuha pa rin yung Baron! Oh my! Arsenal lang, da! Kibir by herself! Actually, entangle to eh! Pero kasi makapal yung mga minions eh. Again, Baron Empowered Minions. And plus the Wave Clear available para kay Kibir dito. Kaya niyang i-dissuade yung push attempt ng Team Wrecker. They would plan to at least take down your tier 2. Successful in doing so. In the end, commendable both sides. Grabe naman yun. Nag-flash sa liba. Oh. Sa kami na na. Baka Kapitan Pugu yan. Baka Renekton yan. That's a good replay. Again, it all started with Giyang just entering the team fight in a very, very good moment. And yung triple kill niya nga in dash end niya and flash end. Finding the targets to the backline. Unfortunately, para kina Team Breaker, the smite button. Dito ni Kapitan Pogo ay batang bata pa, kala. Very, very accurate pa rin. Still, a team fight win is a team fight win. Giang one HP. Bunda naman ng shield nayon. The balik. Oh, pero na ko pa rin ang shield. Eto si Kapitan Pogo bagit sa magi one v one for one. Look at Casey Bay arriving. At Cherizawa. perfect time and bunda Good lang kay Zonyas noon para makaligtas pa si Cherizawa. Yeah, on the top side, banking on the Baron buff uh, na available para dito sa team Kapitan Pugo. Diversion play lang pala ang nangyayari. Double tanks against three. Meron pa namang marksman dito. Dito pa si Goddess on that ash. Uy! Nag-flash! Akala ko mag-flash dito. Uh, Iron Class Up. Mukhang hindi nga pala okay. the ult just to scare them away. Hey, and good disengage, diba? May kasama pang Rylice. Pero ito si KCB. Gumagawa na nga rin ng speed push strat on the bottom lane. But would still respect yung backup uh, ability rito ng uh, Team Kapitan Pugo. And more importantly, meron tayong objective that will spawn up in a couple of seconds. Infernal Dragon available dito, Riku. This is what I would say a very important one. Although wala tayong soul again in this game. <laughs> It's still a very good to have, especially knowing the damage yung binibigay niya. Oo nga, one apiece itong dalawang team ulit. And zinazone away na ni Kapitan Pugo, yung si Casey. Pero the rest of the squad, may stand united naman itong si Coriole. So makakaabot naman siya. Gagawin ni Casey, let's see. Onslaught, but it's being taken down so fast. It's going to be too late. Yeah, too late. Kung baga pinaka-combo talaga dito yung Team Wrecker is yung Hecarim. Oo. Na may sakay na Shen. Oo. May ninja. Di ba? Shen delivery system. That's the ideal way. Tapos hayaan na si Ki ang mag-clean natin. So far, may opportunity pa rin naman dito ang Team Wrecker. You look at Ki ang sa gold total, 12k eh. So, three items already available on the Samira. And knowing na medyo squishy rin naman yung halos karamihan ng mga Champions City Team Kapitan Pogo, there is a potential for Ki ang gaming to really help his squad extend this series. Exactly. Baka it's looking to be a possible game number three. Ah. Yung at si Giyang, uh, kagaya ng sinabi mo, ang kanilang win condition dito. We really want to start a fight here. Giyang with the autos. Kung wala pang follow-up, might be no? too risky with the Baron. And is now spawned. Yes. So ito ang talaga yung hey, naglalaban nila. Oh, really Good nice polymorph. polymorph there to uh, deter oh, that red line. Pero hindi pa rin. No, Ay, pumasok! Pumasok si Giyang! Mali yata yan. Wait a while, Grove Tash, nakalang may stun siya. And it's going to be a 4v5 situation here. And it's a moment in Team Breaker. Resets! Para kay Cap! And look at this goddess. Ang ganda ng mga auto-attack niya. He's trying to zone it away. Mas na ano siya. Oh, dito na si Cap. Hindi pa rin yung magiging visa. As it is going to be Kapitan Pugo. Trying to win this team fight here. Oh my god! It's just too much. And Kapitan Pugo gets rewarded with a Baron to boot. Oh man, Kia! Why naman ganun, my friend? Pumasok sa lima. Instantly deleted, and we all know what happens. Kapag ang isang Diego ay nakuha ng first skill, resets will happen, and we all saw it there, right? The impact ng Diego, 
full display. Award dito ng Team Kapitan Pugo, second Baron of the game. I'm shaking my head, Otolus. Grabe naman yung Saya. fight na yun. It was very exciting. And kagaya ng sinabi mo, Giang, unfortunately, the wild growth will not be enough with just a lot of stuns. Ang dami mong parang kakainan, no? May right. polymorph pa, may stuns coming from the, uh, the brand. brand. Yeah. Everyone actually has a stun. Yeah. I really true, true. <laughs> Even yung Enchanted Crystal Arrow, let's look at that replay once again. This is after Giang already falling down. Falling victim uh, dun sa AOE damage. And if you are, if you are the members of Team Kapitan Bungo, kahit sino lang yung target mo eh. After, after one of the primary threat in the, the Samir going down, okay na yun eh. Uy, teka lang, may team fight na dito. Bebo, nadozone yeah. away siya. Giyang with the first kill. Yung wild growth nandito on to Kapitan actually as the Nautilus here. comes Goddess. Here. But Giyang's getting zoned away by Goddess. So iba-iba yung mga laban natin dito. Yeah. Na zone out na si Cherry Zawa. At ang panalo sa team fight na yun ay si Kapitan Pugo. They have the Baron. They have the minions. Giyang once again falling victim. Hey Goddess. Oh. Similar to what happened in game number one in where Giyang was targeted down by the Kaisa. This time it's the Ash. Just making sure na hindi makakapalag si Giyang. And now, the major prize of this game. Elder Dragon. Oh, Casey Bay for the steal! Oh, Tarong Shadows. Nagamit niya na yung no spike. Steal. Kaya ito, si Kapitan Pugo pa rin ang makakapag-secure sa, sa Elder Dragon. Okay lang yan. Nice try, okay Casey Bay. Diba? Muse ka pa rin namin sa Wild Rift. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pero, well, wala magagawa. Juggler main yung isa eh. Diba? <laughs> totoo, totoo. And Wag honestly, pang hinaan ng loob. The... Good attempt, still. Yeah, very, very uh, Coming from the side of Casey Bay. Parang it was the only play that was available, no? Kasi exactly. once you get the Elder, what, you have to sit on yeah. base and wait for that to expire. Any fight that you take, it will be a loss. So, you know, it was Casey Bay identifying ko ano yung best. And, and plus the patience of uh, Kapitan Pogo, you know? Uh, doesn't really panic. Very solid, no. steady so far. Sa, sa lahat ng smite battles na nakita natin, it heads over to Kapitan Pogo so far. Um, and, and now 19 minutes into the game, especially with the Elder Dragon buff available to Team Captain Pugo, pero talaga sila mag uh, threaten to really end this game once and for all. Dami pa naman nilang da damage over time. Eh, yun pa naman yung kaibigan ng, ng Elder Dragon. <laughs> oh nga, eh, kung lalong lalo na kung magkukumpulan kayo dyan right. against the brand, it's incredibly painful. And Giyang really has to be careful here. There's the Chatty Crystal Arrow, pero iba yung mabibiktima dito. Si Rekker, gonna get caught out of nowhere. Buti na lang may flash siya, nakatakas pa siya. And good thing. <laughs> yeah, good touch. Kasi kung uh, tumama yung Heartstopper doon, uh, coming in from Kapitan Pogo, magsasnowball na naman yun eh. And again, the Elder Dragon would allow for them to really secure a lot of executes. Pero 30 seconds na lang pala ang natitira dito sa Elder buff ng Kapitan Pogo. Team Rekker doing a good job in holding off yung push attempt dito nila Kap. Buti na lang meron silang pang wave clear no on right. the, for Cherry Zawa here. Very important to stall this game out. Pero 14 seconds, 12 seconds on the clock, magkakabaro na ulit. So baka yeah. makakita tayo ng labanan. Just in time, just in time para mag-expire din yung Elder uh, buff dito ng Team Captain Pugo. And looking at the goal total though, malaki pa rin naman ng advantage dito ng Team Captain Pugo. Pero at least that's one more thing or one less thing to think about. Hirap nga eh. Half HP na yung Baron. It's going down really fast. Casey Bay doesn't have flash. Take note. Kailangan yung mano-mano na tumakbo sa may gilid para umabot dito. Pero it's gonna be a bit too late. Baron secured. Let's see kung paano gagamitin nito nila kapitan. Uh, ito na yata yung uh, pinaka-primary added buff na kailangan nila to really end this game or possibly just open up the base. Ito na si Kapitan Pugo on the Viego. Just trying to find the target right now. I mean, well, itong si Raker, pwede makahook talaga yun. Delikat. Matutulog talaga yung mahook dito ni Rick. <laughs> yun nga yung pinaka-key dito. That dredge line is gonna be incredibly important para makakuha ng pick. Because I do think, in a 5v5 scenario with the Baron uh -huh. in their in their hands, okay. parang hindi sila nakakausad, nananalo right. sa mga teammates talaga. And uh, plus, again, si Kapitan Pugo dito electing to still go back and not over-pursue or over-push. Umuwi muna, kinuha yung kanyang final item. Uh, at, uh, yeah. Sterox gauge, punong puno, busog na busog na. Oh, Goddess! Exactly. Oh, oh, here comes Goddess. Good oh, job! Terafino, gonna finish the job here. Really nicely done, pero may teleport na dumating. Galit kay Eisenhardt, mag na lang siya. Hindi, kasama na pala si Kapitan Pugo. It's gonna be a, such cool a messy not. fight. The auto attack from Eisenhardt. He's still a little bit tanky here. Maganda yung ginawa ng shield, pero they're trying One to more. find KCB instead. But 
Tumakbo na lang siya magpuntang palikod. May kita yata si Rick. Gusto niya lang uwi, pero papauwi nga siya in a different kind of method. Ang kapal naman ng shield na yan. Serizawa. Gyeong! He wants to go to the tower, but they're not going to allow him at all. Serizawa. Here comes Gyeong! Good one! And KP, I'm sorry, I think Kapitan Bogo trying his best in this one piece of scenario. Casey Bay having seen it on onslaught of shadows just to get that reset on board, but the auto attack, the damage, the full item on his inventory. <laughs> Ang hirap niya patumbahin. Oh my! Very balanced. Very <laughs> 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 de, de. Okay. Okay, to, to be, be fair, fair, to be fair, five three eight. Oh, uh, five eight. I, I na naman na. Oh, uh, he was so, he was super, super, super ahead. Pero yeah, that, that was oh, Shen delivery system. Oh, oh let's, let's go another one v two. Let it takes two. Let takes three. It takes four. Ano pa talaga ang kwento dito? Hindi. Looks like he's gonna be going. Mahuli. Where the rest of the squad is gonna follow suit. On Slot of Shadows. Definitely. They're sinking. They're sinking. They're sinking. Sayang. Nakaflash na tong. Si K-Bear at kaya siya nakatakas. But the Elder Dragon is alive and is over oh. for the taking. Yeah. Pero nawala yung jungler ng Team Wrecker, KCB. The non-respect yung burn coming in from the brand. Oh, breaks of the game. Oh That's my. unfortunate. Nakakaano nga eh. Yan. It's very dis deceitful yo, yung damage ng isang brand. You think in a team fight it doesn't hurt. Pero as the game goes, as the fight goes, napakasakit. Pero kagaya na sinabi mo, wala silang jungler. Oh, this is a 50-50. Riku, walang mga smiter. Pwede yung maagaw to ha. Yeah, parehas. Wala yung kanilang mga jungler. Kaya kailangan mag-ingat itong uh, sila Kapitan Sugo. Sinayang nga yung magsisimula. Half HP na itong Elder. Pero hindi. Walang malapit from Team Wrecker to try and get this out. It's gonna be air quote free. It is! Wow! Okay, no challenge whatsoever. Elder Dragon, pangalawa na yan para sa Team Kapitan Pugo. 23 minutes na, mga Lods. Lol PC. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, no? Grabe. Yung hold nitong dalawang teams natin. Yeah, I know. And the timing Super fun. has arrived. Okay. Elder Dragon buff yan, ha? Look at full items na dito si Cap. Even electing to sell yung Serox in favor of Guardian Angel. And we all know how big a resurrection will be at any given team fight, especially come late game. Pero na na sila kap. Sinisi mo na yung Baron. Mahirap nga to, mahirap. The fact that they have the Elder, medyo, uh, it's gonna be a bit tricky if they want to contest this one. It's going down really fast here, Otto. Yeah. Another free objective para sa kanila. Bot lane pushing in the favor of Team Wrecker. Pero for Team Kapitan Pugo, meron pa silang a minute to work with with what I would say, double trouble. Yung, uh, <laughs> yung kanilang nakuha ang buff dito. Kasi may Elder ka na, meron ka pang Baron. Talagang ang laking advantage siya. Sobra. Napakalaki. And uh, now they have two cannons. Even now, you towards that Lord Regislight para mahila Agros. itong si Kapitan. Pero it's not gonna be... Uh, he's gonna do a lot of damage actually on All right. the Wild Rose Napilitan sa kanila. Arrow. Enchanted Arrow. The stun to Wrecker and it's the right person to actually tank that. <gasps> Pyro oh, Kasum! It's ticking! It's ticking! Oh my and God. boom! Dalawa! Patay! On to the Nexus as well. Guillaume trying his best as well. Kaso, the Zonias, the stun. It's a 2-0. Everybody, Team Kapitan Pugo wins this series. And of all, it was K-Bear! Dealing yung lethal damage against oh, her opponents. Oh, we kind of telegraphed the fact na perfect talaga ang pairing ng Elder Dragon buff sa mga damage over time. And with that brand, Pyroclasm explosions throughout.